understand job creation. Congressman Paul, let's stay on the issue of records. You've got a new ad up in South Carolina taking direct aim at Senator Santorum. You call him a corrupt, a corporate lobbyist, a Washington insider with a record of betrayal. You also call him corrupt in that ad. Senator Santorum is standing right here. Uh, are you willing to stand by those charges and explain them? Well, it was a quote. Somebody did make a survey, and I think he came out as one of the top corrupt individuals <laughs> because he took so much money from the lobbyists. But really what the whole... <laughs> there it goes again. <laughs> they but, they but, caught you not telling the truth, Ron. But what really... Re really <laughs> What really counts is, is his record. I mean, he's a big government, big spending individual because, uh, you know, he, he preached the fact that he wanted a balanced budget amendment but voted to raise the debt to five times. So he is a big government person. And we, we as Republicans know something about right to work. He supported, uh, he voted against uh, right to work. He voted along with uh, No Child Left Behind to double, you know, the size of the Department of Education. And he also uh, voted to, for, for a prescription drug program. So he's a big government person, along with him being very associated with the lobbyists and taking a lot of funds. And also, where did he get, make his living afterwards? I mean, he became a high-powered lobbyist on, on, uh, in Washington, D.C., and he's done quite well. Uh, we checked out Newt on his income. I think we ought to find out how much money he's made from the lobbyists as well. A lot of charges there, Senator. Yeah, I was going to say, how, do I have 20 minutes to answer take, take these? Uh, let's talk about the, the corruption issue. Uh, the, person, the, the group that called me corrupt was a group called Crew. Uh, if you haven't been sued by Crew, you're not a conservative. Uh, uh, Crew is this uh, left-wing organization that puts out a list every election of the top uh, Republicans who have tough races and calls them all corrupt because they take contributions from PACs. Uh, it's, it's a ridiculous charge, it's, and, and you should know better than to, uh, to cite George Soros-like organizations uh, by, to say that, uh, that they're corrupt. So that's number one. I, John, uh, Ron, I'm a conservative. I'm not a libertarian. I believe in some government. I do believe that, that government has, that as a uh, senator from Pennsylvania, uh, that I had a responsibility to go out there and represent the interests of my state. Uh, and that's what I did to make sure that, that Pennsylvania was able, in formulas and other things, to get its fair share of money back. Uh, I don't apologize for that any more than you did when you uh, earmarked things and, and did things when you were a congressman uh, in, in Texas. As far as the money that I, that I received, uh, you know, I think I'm known in, uh, in this race, and, and I was known in Washington, D.C. as a cause guy. Uh, I am a cause guy. I, I, I care deeply about this country and about the causes that make me, uh, that I think are at the core of this country. And when I left the United States Senate, I got involved in causes that I believe in. I went in, and worked at the Ethics and Public Policy Center and wrote on the cause of Iran and wrote and lectured all over this country. I got involved with a health care company. Why? Because I was afraid of what was going to happen, and I was asked by a health care company to be on their board of directors. Now, I don't know whether you think board of directors are lobbyists. Uh, they're not. Uh, that's the private sector experience that I'm sure that uh, Mitt would, uh, would approve of. Uh, you, you also, I also worked for a coal company. As I mentioned the other day, my grandfather was a coal miner. I grew up in, in, in the coal region. And when I left the United States Senate, one of the big issues on the table was cap and trade, and global warming, and I wanted to stay involved in the fray. So I contacted a local coal company from my area, who, and I asked, I said, look, I want to join you in that fight. I want to work together with you. I want to help you in any way I can to make sure we defeat cap and trade. And so I engaged in that battle, and I'm very proud to have engaged in that battle. Congressman Paul, so, you accept it? Wait. You know, it, it is true. I believe Congress should designate how the money should be spent. I, I agree with that. But the big difference between the way I voted and the senator voted is I always voted against the spending. I voted against all the spending. There's only been a couple appropriations bills I voted for in the past, what, 24, 26 years I've been in Washington. So you're a big spender. That's all there is to it. You're a big government conservative. And uh, you, you don't vote for, uh, you know, right to work and these very important things. And that's that's what weakens the economy. So uh, to say you're a conservative, I think, is a stretch. But you've convinced a lot of people of it. So, but somebody has to point out your record. I, I would convince. Well, I, no, I, I think I have an opportunity to respond here. I've, I've convinced a lot of people of it because my record is actually pretty darn good. Uh, I, I supported and voted for a balanced budget amendment, the line item veto. I voted, in fact, I, I used to keep track when I was in the United States Senate of all the Democratic amendments and all amendments that increase spending. I, I put on the board of something called a spendometer. If you look at my spending record and you, and you take all the, quote, spending groups, I was rated at the top 
or, or near the top every single year. I, I go back to the point. I am not a libertarian, Ron. I agree with you. You vote against everything. I don't vote against everything. I do vote for some spending. Okay. I do think sure. government I has a role it. to play, let, particularly in defense. We'll, we'll let everybody get in here, but first I want to oh. do bring in Governor, Governor Perry on this. We'll stay on this subject. Don't worry about it. Hang on, I'll, 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 let you, I'll, I'll, I'll let you back in here, Ron. <laughs> you, you've called Senator yeah. Santorum the king. I, I think you've just seen a great example of why 